morning, I'm Olivia. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Chair Yoga class. Let's get started. All right, so settle back in to the back of your seat. Take a deep breath in. And as you settle back in, just create in you that sense of, I have let go, I am present, I am here, and for the next 45, 50 minutes, it's all about me. Be a little selfish about that, about yourself. Come to just your breath. And that means you still the body, which stills the mind. And ultimately stills your spirit and your soul. open your eyes, soft gaze, and scoot on out to the edge of your seat, coming into a seated mountain pose. So the sit bones are right underneath you. Maybe move that fleshy part of your seat a little bit out of the way. Connect the feet to the earth, the big toe, the baby toe edge. A little shoulder roll back, so the heart's going to lift just a minute. It's almost like the shoulder blades are going to scoop that heart up. And then just let your arms release down. Tuck your elbows in next to your waistline so the palms turn forward and then find length all the way up and down the spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone, from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Maybe take one more nice deep breath in. And I'm going to reach my right fingers out to the side and tip my head to the left. And while you're here, tuck the chin down towards your chest and then lifting it back. So you feel just a little extra stretch with that hand stretching out to the side. And then let's release and go the other way. Same thing, stretch the arm out, tipping the head. So imagine you're gonna to try to listen to the ceiling with that ear and then let the chin tip down towards the chest and come back up. And again. One more time. Cross the arms over, tuck the chin. Take a deep breath in between the shoulder blades here. And then we're gonna to begin to lift the elbows and circle the shoulders around. Now let's connect this with breath. So inhale as they lift and exhale as they lower. And if you're not sure if you're doing that, close your eyes and follow the rhythm of your own breath and not mine. You can take the arms bigger. You can take just the shoulders, but just allow this to connect with your breath. One more time. All right, reach the palms forward, splay the fingers out. Curl them in, and splay them out. Again, and splay them out. And then reach back towards the back of the neck and the elbows up, around, and down. We're gonna bring the hands together. I'm gonna to stand up just so you can see me. Hands come up, around, and down. And again, reach to the ceiling, elbows back, and down. Palms turn out to the side wall. One more time. And hands on the thigh muscles, take a deep breath in. Slide towards the kneecap, scoop the belly and round. And then inhale, come back. Hands slide to the crease of the hip, lift the heart. Exhale, scoop the belly, round. And again, lifting up. And scoop. And round. Take that 
left hand over on the right thigh, deep breath in, scoop the belly, navel towards the spine, and slide in. Come right back up, we switch to the other side, navel towards the spine, exhale down. Just take this one more time. It feels so good to me. I hope it does you too. Connecting with the leg. All the way up. Let's look up on that right leg, a little circle in the ankle. And sending the leg out and right back in, drop the toe, lift the knee, and again. So a little range of motion, a little joint action here in the foot, in the knee even the hip, and one more time. All right, so now support that leg right there, up nice and tall, I'm gonna use my arms to support it, and just let it swing. Yeah, <laughs> just dead weight right there in your leg. Yeah. All right. And then turn the heel towards the knee, or towards the shin, and then I'm gonna slide up and down that leg. You need to support it, that's okay. What can you do about it? And up and out, and then drag it right back in. Up and out, drag it right back in. Belly in as it comes up and out. So we're not all this, okay? So hold on nice and tall. And one more time. Now we're going to uh, brush the ground with the toes. Let them reach out. Nice. Okay. And right to the front. Hands on the back of the chair. Sit into the heel of the hands. Just lift the heart. I've got my foot flex there, toe facing the ceiling, pressing in towards the, uh, the heel of my hand, lift the heart. And then foot on the ground. Let's go to the other side. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Oh, press through the heel. And again. Two more. That's good. All right. So now, support. I'm going to show you what I don't do this, but I'm going to show you how I've got this. See right here in the back? Yeah. Just letting it hang. Be dead weight right there. And just let it swing. That lower leg just hang. Yeah. Huh? All right. So now it goes on the, I think we went to the ground. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I always look back to Paul. Mm -hmm. He always keeps me on task. <laughs> oh. And again. Brushing out, keep everything pulled in nice and tight. Head over heart, over pelvis, as least amount of movement as you can in the body. And then from now, we're gonna brush the ground. All right, brushing. Oh, I know what we didn't do. We didn't come up and down the shin. All right, so let's do that. The heel right there on the shin and just right up and down. Just gives that little inner thigh a little more work. It's gonna feel a little different here. And one more. All right, let's walk both legs out. And then you're gonna come around, and as we come up nice and tall, this time what I want you to do is scoop the belly and roll back, uh, and round back to the fleshy part of your seat. So round that spine, heart comes forward, spine rounds, and maybe get the shoulders involved a little bit here. Let it get kind of plunky. <laughs> and again. All right, one more time. Come right back up, walk your feet in. And then hands on the hips. You're gonna reach down as if you were gonna reach down for your uh, a purse or something. Nice side stretch, come right back up, deep breath in. Exhale, keeping the shoulders on that imaginary wall behind you. So you're probably not gonna get to the ground. Just until you feel that lengthen, that tension in the side. Exhale down, inhale up. And you are using those core muscles to get yourself back up. You need to take one hand on the thigh, that's okay, but that belly is pulled in. And again, all right, right hand forward, left hand back. And then switch left hand forward, right hand back. Okay. And switch. One more time. Now both hands forward, deep breath in, do forward fold. Tuck your chin towards your chest here. So a little round in that upper body. And then inhale, let the heart come forward and sweep into chair pose. We're gonna slide that left leg out. We didn't get that on this leg. Hands on the back of the chair. Lift the heart, squeezing the shoulder blades. Okay, and we stand up, deep breath. Exhale down. Okay, now your choice. Here, 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 or reaching to the ceiling. Whatever you need to do. We take another deep breath in, belly in, we stand up. Reach 
and up. Deep breath. Upward salute. Now drop the shoulders down. What I want you to think about doing is connecting the ribs to the hips. All right. That means the arms are not going to reach up quite as far, but those core muscles are really fired on here. Deep breath in. We forward fold. Halfway rise. Hands come to the thigh muscles, squeezing the shoulder blades, belly in, and circle sweep. Whoosh. All the way up. Release down. All right. Shake out. Go get a drink of water. Let's work around to the back of the chair. with your downward facing dog and see if you've got enough room to do that. Splay the fingers out if you can. If you don't have to, if you don't need the chair for that support, it, maybe even one hand. Splay the fingers out in front, maybe both fingers. And then tip the pelvis forward towards the thigh muscles. Pull that navel in towards your spine. Breathing really deep. One more breath. Take your gaze over the chair. Step in on the right foot and roll up on the back toe. Okay. What I want you to do is hinge forward. That front leg is straight and push right back up. So both legs are straight here and I'm on the back toe. You may want to take it out a little bit further. As you hinge forward, you're going to feel a little stretch down the back of that leg and also work those triceps and push right back up. One more time. And push right back up. Back to downward facing dog. A breath. And then step in on the left foot. Roll up on that back toe. So we're going to leave that heel up in the back. Both legs are straight. Hinge forward. You may find you can get a little bit closer towards the chair when you've got that heel up in the back than if you've got it down. So that's what we're trying to do. Still getting a nice stretch. And one more time. Back to downward facing dog. Breathe deep. Now, if the feet are not chair width apart, take them at least chair width apart, maybe even a little bit deeper. I'm going to take the right hand on top of the left and let my hips push towards the back right diagonal. So you get that nice side stretch. And then let's go the other side. Same thing towards the back left diagonal. You can bend the knees if that feels better. Coming back to the chair, step a little bit in, and we'll take some seat, some standing cat and cow now. So I am leaning into the chair just a little bit. High that heart forward. Exhale, scoop the belly around. Let that tailbone draw down towards the earth. Nice curve, C curve in the spine. Again, the shoulder rolls back, the eyes come up, the heart comes forward. We breathe deep. And exhale, scoop the belly. We come into that C curve. One more time. And exhale. Come up, step the left foot by the right leg of the chair. And we're gonna bring that left, uh, right knee up around and down. So warming up in that hip right there. You have got this chair for balance. And that knee comes right in front of the chair. And again. Nice and tall, belly comes in, head over heart over pelvis. One more time. All right, so touch that foot behind. I'm gonna sink into both knees and I'm gonna let that leg swing forward. And again, sink into it and we push off. And again, sink into it, push off. You want that foot heel to come to the ground, that's okay. You wanna stay up on the toe, that's okay too. Who knew you'd be doing the can-can today, huh? <laughs> when was the last time you did that? <laughs> and one more time and slowly bring it right back down. All right, we take a little scurry to the other side. And then the knee comes up, out, and around. So we're warming up this hip a little bit here. Again. Whoa. All right, so now drop it behind. And just let it swing out. Just let it kind of be dead weight there. So it swings out gently. more. All right, so the last one we're going to hold and just 
it lower slowly. Lift it, lower stop. Step out to the side. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to take this halfway rise. Heart moves forward and then circle sweep. Now clasp your thumb right here. And then I'm going to swing down so my legs are comfortably apart here. And then come right back up. We're not going to do this fast. I want you to think about undulating the spine. If you need the chair for that, put one hand on the chair. All right, that's why we're close to it. Come down, scoop the belly, round the spine, roll back up. Oh, release down. Inhale. Nobody gets dizzy, so just take it easy. All the way up. Both hands up to the ceiling. We take a little baby arc over. And then arc. Press the palms to the back wall. Again, clasp the hands back behind you, same way. Drop the knuckles down and lift the heart. Little chest expansion here. Good, good. All right, slowly release. We're not spring loaded there. And get yourself back into mountain pose. All right, hips are warmed up, backs warmed up, arms, chest, everything warmed up. Let's move into some postures. Okay, behind the chair, mountain pose. We're here, so we've got balance, mostly. Deep breath in. Ride up on the right toe as the hands come to the heart. Lifting that foot, we're going to hinge at the hip and shoot that foot way back. Use the chair if you need to. Rise up into warrior one. That heel is in the ground, front knee over the ankle, back leg is straight. Breathing deep. I'm going to drop the left hand to the chair and swing that right arm down. Right back up. And again, opening up the whole right side of the body as you do this. And one more time. All the way up. Both arms up. Deep breath in. Hinge forward. Hold this beach ball right behind, right on your tailbone right there, on your seat. Squeezing the shoulder blades, belly in. We're going to circle sweep, step both feet together. Deep breath in. Using the chair if you need to, of course. And then, other foot comes up, resting on the ball of the foot. Lift the heel, lift the toe, hinge, send it back, and use the chair. And find our warrior one, nice and tall. Back leg is straight, really make it work. Front knee is bent. Right hand on the chair, and then swing that left arm down and right to the ceiling, opening up that entire left side of your body. Wonderful stretch there. At your own pace, at your own breath. One more time. And we rise right back on the warrior one, all the way up. Beautiful. Now, hinging forward at the hips. So look towards the chair now. You don't need to look at me. Look towards the chair. Take that crease out of the back of your neck. Hold that beach ball there. And then we circle sweep the arms. Step both feet forward. Let's take a little upward salute, reaching to the ceiling. Coming back to mountain pose on back to stillness. Really nice breath. All right, grab a drink of water. Come back. So from our mountain pose, from our little men. <laughs> and there with their little hammers. <laughs> okay, so let the right heel leave the ground again. Using the chair if you need. I'm going to let the foot leave the earth, but I'm going to turn it out, and then I'm going to step on it and push. Come right back in. Slide it in. And again, push. Slide it right back in. Find balance. Climb right back in, one more time, and right back in. Very, very nice. Okay, so now we're going to go out, <laughs> and we're going to turn the toe and come into warrior two. So find your warrior two position with your feet first, knee over the ankle, back leg is straight, arms open wide. Now press those little fingers back towards the back wall a little bit. Not so much that you would hyperextend the body, but instead of here, just let them travel back a wee bit more. Arms come parallel to the ground. And let's tip the head, drop the chin down to your chest, come over to the other side. And then again. 
And one more time. Okay, coming right back up. Look over the two peace fingers, holding the arms firm and strong here. And then tuck the chin. Look over to the back fingers, keeping the shoulders down. Keep that front knee bent there, Cindy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just happen to be looking right at you. <laughs> and then come right back to the front. All right, I'm going to come into reverse. You can use the chair with your left hand if you'd like, or reaching down towards the leg with the right, left hand and the right hand skyward. Circle your wrist up there. Wiggle your fingers. Yeah. And then bend the elbow and extend. All the while keeping the bottom half of your body extremely strong. One more time. Level this back out. Slide towards the right wall and we come into extended angle. Use the chair any way you need to with any hand you need to. But my body has got this little incline here. I'm going to reach that arm to the ceiling if that hand will work. Give it a little circle. Feel a little wiggle in the fingers. And then again, let's curl that in. Sort of make that a nice bicep curl. So your Popeye muscle, my grandmother used to call it. <laughs> and again, curl that in and extend. One more. And we level this back out. Very nice. Give yourself a hug, a little stretch in the arms, drop your chin. And then turn both toes to the front. And as if you were going to take your shirt off, hands down by the waist, arms up over your head and down. All right, we go the other way. So walk that right foot back in and we'll start with first that out and in, a little bit of Tai Chi. The heel comes up and we push out. Slide that leg back in, see if you can find balance and lift the foot. All right, three more times. We'll see if we can find some balance. Coming back, hold on. Use the chair, it's okay. We don't expect perfection. And now coming into warrior two. So turn the toe, right toe to the front, left toe to the left wall, knee over the ankle. Back leg is straight, <laughs> arms up. <laughs> and then wherever your arms are, just press those little, that little fingers back a little bit more. Notice how that just ever so slightly opens the heart a bit more. And this time we're gonna go head up. So look towards the fingers, look upwards, skyward if you can, and then the other way. Now, if you've been told to be careful with the neck there, and we all should be, just use your judgment, but just a little bit of a gaze, maybe towards the top of the ceiling there. And again, all right, coming back to that left hand, palm to the ceiling and back to reverse. Again, using the chair as you need to, you don't even have to use any hands. I'm gonna circle my wrist, Wiggle my fingers, firmly plant the feet into the ground, and then I'm gonna curl that bicep in and extend out. Rock those knuckles down towards the shoulder. Trying to keep that elbow up there and give yourself a little tricep stretch. Two more. And last one. All right. Level this out. Again, little fingers to the back. Little slide, rest the wrist and reach. You can use the chair however you need to. Turning the gaze, a little circle in the wrist, wiggle in the fingers, and then make that fist and curl into the shoulder and back up. Let that bicep fire on a bit and let the tricep stretch. It can work too, actually. And one more time. It's a lot of work. Let's level this out. Press the elbows back. We're going to turn both toes to the front once again. Uh, this time, let's take eagle arms here. So press the knuckles, draw the elbows in, and lifting the elbows off of the chest as best you can. You're going to squeeze everything together. Take that deep breath. <clears throat> All right, let's bring just the heels in, and we'll open to goddess pose. Nice and tall. Wow, wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Shoulders on the wall behind you. Beautiful. And then star pose. Take up as much space as you can. One more thing I want you to do is connect the ribs to the hips. All right? So you really firm up those abdominal muscles. You, create, you encourage length in the spine by pulling that belly in. Hands together. And come down. 
Walk your feet in, jump them in, back to downward facing dog. Turn the pelvis, turn the, uh, tip the pelvis forward, turn the tailbone to the back wall. Pull that navel into your spine and once again, encourage length right there. All right, deep bend in the knees, hands back on the thigh muscles. We're gonna reverse swan dive back up if you need to push off the legs, that's okay. Reverse swan dive. Come right down the center once again. We take that halfway rise. Slide the hands towards the thighs, maybe lower. It's up to you entirely. Belly in, heart moving forward. And circle sweep, come into chair pose and stay there. Okay, hands at the heart. Nice. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna turn sideways. So I'm coming right here. So look down, can you see your toes? Well, I can't completely, so what do I have to do? I have to send my hips back a wee bit more. You fire on those legs even more. Drop that left shoulder, lift the right shoulder, looking towards that right wall. Head over heart over pelvis here still. Pass through the center, reach to the ceiling. I'll give you a little break. Circle sweep, halfway rise. Come into chair pose and we're gonna stay here again. Maybe powerful pose, it's up to you. Hands can be on the thigh. Take a look, be sure you can see your toes. Hands to the heart. We're gonna drop the right shoulder, lift the left shoulder. Just a little twist in the upper body is it. Breathing deep. One more breath. Come on back to the front, reverse swan dive, all the way back up. Deep breath. And down. Shake out. Have a drink of water, come back. We're gonna work on some balance now. Okay, let's just try this. Try this around the side of the chair today. Okay, so you are looking towards the looking towards your chair. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway rise, and then exhale, hands on the chair, heart moving forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, the cat and cow, all right? One more time. And tuck the tailbone. Okay, let the right knee lift up and come towards your chin, and then you're gonna send it out behind you. If you want it to touch the ground and come in, that's okay. Tuck, curl the knee in towards the chin and press it right back out. One more time, it can scrape the ground and come in and you can keep it up high. And one more time, coming in and extend it back out. All right, at this point, I'm gonna encourage you to try to lighten up on the left hand a little bit. So you've got weight on your left foot and your right hand and just sort of lighten up on those fingers on your left hand belly in back leg is extremely strong and should you find that balance let that hand leave the chair nice you can reach right in front turn the thumb to the ceiling so you got a long line from the fingertips to the heel all right, we're gonna come out of this, bend that knee, let that back foot touch the ground, or back toe touch the ground, and rise up into our high lunge. So I'm gonna use the chair for support here, lifting up away from the chair. Right, are we good? Use the chair for support if you need to, and then just rise up. Back toe is down, back foot is down now, high lunge. One hand, maybe two hands, you decide. Step forward, forward fold, halfway rise, and circle sweep. Pass through that chair all the way up. <laughs> all right, let's go to the other side. So final balance there, using the chair in a different way. Now let's take a deep breath in and a forward fold, halfway rise. You're looking at the seat of the chair, put the hands on it there. Hands are right underneath the shoulders and feet underneath the hips. And I'm gonna slide that leg that's closest to me out. Deep breath in, exhale, knee, uh, knee comes towards the chin and inhale, lengthen it away. 
exhale, knee comes in, scoop the belly, and press it out. Extend that leg a little bit more each time it goes out, straightening it each time a little bit more if you can. And one more time, and press it out, let's hold it there. Now let the heart move forward, so I don't want you to be looking back at your legs. Heart's moving forward, and then lighten up a little bit on the right hand. So come to the fingertips on the right hand, if you can. These are all options. And should you begin to find balance, let that hand leave the chair, maybe extend towards the right wall, thumb to the ceiling. You're looking beyond your chair there, breathing deep. One more breath. All right, so now bend that front, bend that knee until that toe comes on the ground behind you. I'm gonna use my right hand on the back of the chair and push up to high lunge. Rising up. Now get closer to the chair if you need to, it's okay. Settle in. And then again, should you find balance, release that, release that right hand to the ceiling. Lose that sense of fear. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Breathing deep. All right, we push forward, forward fold, halfway lunge. And sweep your hands around the chair, come all the way up. Deep breath, and down. All right, very nice. Back to downward facing dog. That was a tricky one today, very, very good. I like to use the chair in different ways makes it fun. Okay, tip that pelvis forward and feel a great stretch down the hamstrings. And then tuck the navel towards the spine. You're going to tip the pelvis the other way so the tailbone goes downward like you're a little dog that just got scolded. You feel that stretch in the back. All right, take the gaze over the chair. Step in on the right foot, left foot, mountain pose. How lovely is that? And then bringing the hands to the heart, turn that right heel towards the leg. So easy, easy tree pose here. And if you need that chair, hand, you need hand on the chair, get it there. If not, I'm gonna slide my foot up the calf. And again, that chair is there for a reason. Go ahead and use it. Find length in the torso now. But as you do that, connect the ribs to the hips again. and find the chair. Drop that foot just behind the other one, maybe off to the side a little bit, and I'm gonna take a little side stretch here, reaching that right arm up. So once again, we open up the whole right side of the body. Turn the palm to the ceiling, and then I want you to imagine you're gonna wash the back wall. So send that arm back, and back to the front. Lovely. Other side, lift that heel to the ankle, and maybe this is your tree pose. We call it sapling pose. Maybe this is it for the day. And that's okay with me. You want to encourage that leg to slide, the foot to slide up towards the calf muscle. Go ahead and do so. And maybe your tree's got some branches today. chair as I drop the foot behind the other one maybe a little off to the right and then right up past my face with that left hand get a lovely side body stretch turn the palm to the ceiling and then as if you were going to paint that back wall reach back with your hand come back to the front back to mountain pose hands to the heart drop your chin to your chest Just enjoying those new sensations in the side of the body and the back and the legs. <laughs> All right, very, very lovely. Let's grab a drink of water and sit back down and we'll finish in the chair. Still at the edge of your seat, if you will, please. 
let's take the feet comfortably apart. Now, you've got this great big beach ball here, and I don't mean your belly in front. <laughs> take a deep breath in, and then exhale, round that spine over that beach ball. Let the hands slide to the front of the knees, maybe the shins. The deeper you, you go, the more you have to round that spine because that beach ball's in the way. Take a deep breath into your back, and then as you exhale, scoop and roll right back up. Very, very nice. Walk the feet back in just a little bit. Hands on the back of the chair. No, the seat of the chair. And then I'm going to tuck my elbows into the back of the chair, if that will reach for you, and lift the heart. So I'm pressing the heel of the hand into my chair. My elbows are on the back, keeping the chin tucked. If you lift that chin up, you cannot breathe. <laughs> so keep the chin tucked and lift the chest. Reverse tabletop. And push yourself right back up. Bring that right knee in and out to the side if you can, if that works for you. And then we're going to cross this leg over. You know what your, your rules are according to your doctor. Man, that floor's dirty, huh? <laughs> it, I know, but it doesn't look like it no, does it until doesn't. you cleaned it with your socks. <laughs> All right, so maybe they like when we come in. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, gosh, this floor doesn't look too bad. <laughs> All right, so we find the tip of the sibens. Let's be sure that foot is right underneath your knee. When this happens, it sort of falls off to the side. So the higher you bring that foot underneath the knee, you'll get an even deeper stretch there. Nice and tall, maybe take a hinge forward. It's up to you. around that knee with my hand. Now you have choices. You can leave it right here on the leg or you can take it off to the side. Depends on what your flexibility is. But I'm going to draw this knee towards my left shoulder as I sit up even taller. I'm using my arms to pull it in. A nice deep breath in for length in the spine. And then as you exhale, maybe turn the gaze towards the right wall, maybe over your right shoulder. You're going to feel that stretch come up a little higher into the feet, maybe towards the low back. As long as there's no pain, just some tension, that's okay. And then with that breath, every exhale is going to help you relax that more. And lift that leg off. We go the other side. So first we're going to lift it out towards the knee to get that stretch in the back of the leg. Whatever works for you. You can even grab the outside edge. It's up to you entirely, but get that leg up there as best you can. And then we cross that over and let that knee open up. Again, this foot is right underneath the knee. And if it slipped underneath, walk it right back there again. Very tall. I like to take a little pressure on my leg and pull up here, but it's up to you entirely. The most important thing is that you're sitting up tall in this stretch. Even if this foot is down here, roll up towards the tip of, tip of the tip bone <laughs> and connect the ribs to the hips there. Oh, are so darn good. You don't know it, but you really are. Seriously. Surround that leg. Take a deep breath in and exhale, lifting it up. Again, you can let it fall off if that feels better to you right there or keep it there on the knee. This is going to draw towards the right shoulder as you look towards the left and then turn, maybe turn the gaze over the left shoulder. That's sort of the final coup de grace if you can do that. <laughs> good for you. And feel that stretch really come through that glute, that fascia there, up into the low back, breathing deep. And then slowly come back, not spring-loaded, feet on the ground, seated mountain pose. Let the fingers reach down, tip the head, drop the chin, come up to the other side. All the way back up. Open your eyes really wide then. Scrunch your eyes up. Scrunch your face up. And then just let it relax. Pull the shoulders up. Make fists. Let it relax. Pull the navel in. Nice and tight. Let it relax. 
Now flex the feet, turn the toes back, and get the hamstrings going, fire on the hips. Let them relax. And let's push back to the back of the chair. Settle in for your seated Shavasana. A nice deep breath in, maybe the deepest you've taken. And again, in a different place from when you started, right? Eyes are closed, come into that stillness in the body, which translates into the mind and into the soul for a few moments of true peace. Exhale, you feel that seat get a little more comfy. Your breath become a little more intentional. Wiggle your fingers, bring your hands together at your heart, drop your chin to your chest. Let all you do be done in love. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all. Good work. Truly, you all move very smoothly through everything. I love it. I love it. So wonderful. I hope you all feel really confident in postures and um, just being here. Good job. Good job. So a singing bell or a ringing bell? Ringing bell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's and beautiful. I just love so it. And you know, you can get different tones. And um, the person that, uh, the group that bought this for me, they, one of them, ha one woman has one, and she, she's listened to the different tones, and she said, this is the one that I like the best. I'm like, oh, really? 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 <laughs> what are you tell? using to make this sound? What's in your right hand? In my right hand is, it's a wooden peg, and it's got like a suede on it. So okay. this is what makes the ring. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then this is just a very subtle, you can hit it hard, but you don't hear it, but this oh, would yeah. be more tinny sounding. So the other one has a heavier padding? Yeah, this is like a, like wolf felt or something okay. on it. Oh. Well, yeah. you can order it online, you look more like this. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, but I can I think you can listen to the bells online, to the sound. Oh, really? I think that's how she picked them. Really? Does, does that say which one that is? It does not. No, it doesn't. Uh -uh. No. There's a no. store in East um, East Aurora that has them. Oh, and I good. wanted one. Yeah. Oh, and, and I was going to get it, but I just. I, it, They're it was, sisters. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like fifty dollars, and everybody's like, "You don't want that." Said, oh, oh yeah. yes, you do. You know, in fact, the woman that gave it to me, she said, "You know, it just practically makes me cry when I hear it." Yeah, <laughs> it's so it's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, y'all had to hear that. No.